Hello and welcome. You are learning AWS S3. S3 is second most popular service from AWS. As you know that when we want to upload data inside S3 bucket, we have to choose storage class. Choosing right storage class is mandatory because it is saving lots of money for the company. We are already aware about storage classes like standard, infrequent access, intelligent tiering, and one zone. Today, we are going to talk about specifically Express One Zone Storage Class. This is a new one and you have to understand why we are using this. So, let's understand S3 Express One Zone. Before I am going to explain you about S3 Express One Zone, I want you to find out from where we are getting this particular option. Right now, I am inside my S3 console. Here, I have one bucket as well. So, this is my bucket. The bucket name is Fox Bucket. Now, whenever you are going to upload any object, you can choose storage class. So right now what I am doing, I am going to upload one object over here inside this bucket. So let's click on upload and add a file. I have this particular file that I am going to upload. Let's click on open. Now from the properties, you can choose storage class. Here the first storage class we have is S3 Express One Zone. This is grayed out right now. Why it is grayed out? I am going to explain you everything about it. But we are actually talking about this particular option right now in this video. So let's go back to the theoretical part. Then I will come back over here and I'm going to upload a file inside S3 One Zone as well. So let's go back to the theoretical part. And here I have definition. The definition is Amazon S3 Express One Zone is high performance, single zone going to store data inside the single zone Amazon S3 storage class that is purpose built to deliver consistent single digit millisecond data access for your most less latency sensitive application. If you have gaming application or real time application, we consider it as a sensitive latency sensitive application. If you have this kind of application, this would be the better choice. It is also useful for machine learning. The one point that you need to consider over here is S3 Express One Zone is providing you single digit millisecond data access. Now the question over here is how we are getting single digit millisecond data access using S3 Express One Zone. Step by step you will get better understanding about this. But this is a line that you need to remember about Express One Zone. Now, let's talk about the second part. S3 Express One Zone is the lowest latency cloud object storage class available today with data access speed up to 10x faster and with request cost 50% lower than the standard. Here you are getting double benefit. You are paying 50% paying less for the, for the request and another thing is it is a 10x faster. Now the question over here is why it is so faster and why we need to choose this. I am going to explain you this but before this let me tell you about one practical approach. I am going to share my screen and as you remember that when we are creating, uh, when I am going to upload any files, this S3 One Zone is actually grayed out. Why it is grayed out? Because for S3 Express One Zone, you have to create directory bucket. You have to create directory bucket. The bucket that we have right now, it is actually general purpose bucket. But if you want to use S3 Express One Zone, you have to choose directory bucket. Now, 
in Mumbai. Right now, I am inside the Mumbai region. If you look at over here, I am inside the Mumbai region. In Mumbai region, we don't have this facility. So, to understand the whole concept, I am going to the N Virginia. Let me tell you, N Virginia having all the new features available. So, right now, I am going to the N Virginia. Now, going to the bucket. Yes, my bucket will be visible over here. But now, look at this. If I am going to click on create bucket, here I am getting two options. One, general purpose, in which you can store data from all the class. But if you want to go with the express one zone, you have to create directory bucket from here. So, let's understand this as well. First of all, uh, we are going to understand this theoretically, then we are going to create this as well. Directory buckets. Directory buckets use the S3 Express One Zone storage class. So, you cannot store your data uh, like a one zone express zone data inside general purpose bucket. For this, you have to create directory bucket, which is built to be used by the performance sensitive application with S3 Express One Zone. You can select single availability zone with the option to co-locate your object storage with your compute resources, which provide the highest possible access speed. Now, this is the main point that we need to understand. Let me explain you this. When you are creating directory bucket, you have option to choose your availability zone. By default, when we are creating any bucket, specifically general purpose bucket, we are not able to choose availability zone. We can choose region for sure, but they are not giving us option to choose availability zone. Here, in the directory bucket, they are allowing us to choose our availability zone. It means you can decide in which availability zone you want to create your directory bucket. Now, you may have this question that okay, we got the idea when we are creating normal bucket, we cannot choose availability zone. Here we can choose availability zone. But, what is the impact of choosing availability zone? You may have this question, right? So, let me explain you this as well. So, here I have one picture. If you look at here, okay, I have one region, I choose US region because this feature is available over there. In this, I have three different availability zones. As you know that availability zones are actually connected to the fiber optic cable. And because the communication will happen through this, there is a little latency, right? Now, let's say that I have my application, latency sensitive application running inside EC2 instance. Okay. So, here I have EC2 instance. Now, my EC2 instance is inside US East 1C. Okay. And it is going to access my S3 bucket and accessing data from this. Now, if you are creating general purpose bucket, specifically if you are using one zone, you don't know that in which AZ in which availability zone out of three, in which availability zone your S3 bucket is. So, your S3 bucket can be in US East 1F as well. Now, here your application is running here inside US East 1C. Your bucket is here inside US East 1F. Now, if you are sitting over here, if you are sitting over here and when you access your application, the data, pictures and whatever, it is actually you are accessing from here. So, you are accessing from Amazon EC2 and Amazon EC2 is accessing from here. Of course, the data and your EC2 instance in which your application is actually running, they are not inside same availability zone and because of this, it is introducing delay. But, I know that my application is actually latency sensitive application. I want a millisecond latency, single digit. In this case, what I can do with Express One Zone, 
I can select that my S3 bucket will be there here in this particular availability zone. So you have choice to choose availability zone for your S3 bucket. Now when you will access this, okay, it is going to access your Amazon EC2 instance and it will access bucket from the same availability zone and because of this, you will have low latency access and this is the whole concept of Express One Zone. I hope you got the idea about it. Now, let's create directory bucket. So, I'm going to share my screen again. Now, I'm going to create my directory bucket. So, I just choose this in Virginia. Now, creating directory bucket. Here, it is asking me to choose your availability zone. Of course, I will choose availability zone with co-located application running inside EC2 instance. So I will choose this one. For example, my application is also running over here. Then data is stored in single availability zone. I need to acknowledge this. Now I have to provide bucket name. Let's say that my Fox bucket. And here I'm going to click on create bucket. Let me tell you, this is my directory bucket. Now, when you go inside S3, you will have two options. If you look at this, it is a general purpose bucket and it is a directory bucket. Now, when you go to the general purpose bucket, here, it will show you that it is in your Asia Pacific region. It will not show you any availability zone. But when you click on directory bucket, it will show you that your region and it is also showing the availability zone as well because now whatever the data you are storing inside this bucket you are storing this in this particular availability zone and there is low latency access because your application also running into the same availability zone now if i am going to the directory bucket right now and if i am going to upload any object inside my directory bucket it will allow me to select let let me choose this okay now if i'm going to the properties okay here look at this all other are grayed out only s3 express one zone is available because in s3 one zone you can you have a directory bucket in which you can only select this particular s3 express one zone so this is the whole idea about S3 uh, One Zone Express. I hope you got the complete understanding. Now, one point that you need to remember, guys, that this particular One Zone Express One Zone is available into these four regions only as I am recording this particular video. So, if you are trying to test this into the Mumbai region, you may not get this option. I hope you get the complete idea about this. If you have any query, if you have any question, we are always available with you. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Have a nice day. Goodbye.